the artist and today we are going live to teach you how to paint this beautiful barn so I have the line work all done and so let's see here everything that you can find uh, to do this will be on our website at tipsyartist.com so it's super easy we have these really cute painting kits that go with every single one of our designs and all of our live classes and let me give you an idea here of the line art to start with so we have awesome transfer paper and the line art and I've worked a little bit ahead and done mine here on the canvas so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and place your transfer paper down first helpful hints here are that the dull gray side faces up and the shiny black side faces the canvas and I only tape at the top of the canvas and just a couple of pieces of tape works just fine then I go ahead and take the line art, place that directly over the top, and I also tape that onto the surface right there, just at the top. I want to make sure that I keep all of this very loose here at the bottom uh, so that I can constantly lift up and check my work. Because one of the things, this is a very easy process, but one of the challenges that does happen is that as you're working, you don't want to lift this off prematurely because trying to line it back up is almost impossible. So you do want to make sure that you can continue to lift and check your work, make sure you get all your lines done. And then when you're completely done, then you can go ahead and lift this off completely. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, move it over to the side. All right, so now here we go. We're ready to get started with our painting process here. And also want to say hello to everybody out there joining us today. We're so glad you're here. And it's a beautiful day outside. It's been raining a lot here, but it is very lovely. Very, It's a lot more cool. And so we love that during the summertime. All right, so I've got my brushes and my paint. And all of this comes with your kit, too. We have a lovely uh, paint kit. I'm going to show you mine, even though mine's been opened. And it's kind of disheveled and a bit of a mess but it's a really nice paint set that comes with it. And then we have three brushes, and again, mine are also a little bit more loved. <laughs> yours, yours will be brand new. All right, so we've got the Mama brush, half inch flat tackle on brush, and then we have Little Buddy, little quarter inch flat tackle on brush, and then also Little Bit. All right, so those are our three brushes. I have a few little extras here off to the side. I make sure that I have a nice bucket of water my paint off to the side here and then of course this is my canvas and we just did our line work brushes so we're all really set here good to go all right so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the sky in the background first I like to start with the lighter elements of the painting so I'll be using my mama brush and I've got a little bit of some titanium white already loaded up on my little palette over here and you can add just a tiny amount of water, so I'm just going to barely dip that into the water, push this into the white. Let's go ahead and push back and forth with our brush to go ahead and load that up. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of some primary cyan blue. So here we go. Here's some primary cyan blue. I'm going to go ahead and do a little dollop over here to the side. Just about a dime's worth of that. And then I'm also going to use some viridian. And again, really small amount of this as well. Also, mine have already been used, but when you pull yours out, you will see a nice little foil lining. You'll have to lift that off so that you can get your paint out of there. All right, so nice big dollop of titanium white. Then let's add a little tiny touch of our blue and then a little tiny touch of our viridian. Let's go ahead and work those back and forth together. It's really pretty, almost a nice little aqua color to that. And then I can constantly pick up a little bit more white too as I push this into the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of crisscross this back and forth. Now this first example is a nice bright light sky. Now you can add hues of gray to this if you want. Some people like a little bit more of a slight gray. Let me show you how to do that too. So you can do a little tiny touch of black, super tiny. I'm going to push off 
that to the side with a lot of white. And then that can pull in little touches of some slate gray in there. That mutes a little bit. And then I also like to constantly touch into little pieces of white and push that into my background. And I just crisscross the brush back and forth. Kind of hold that brush a little bit out to the side parallel to the canvas. All right, we are getting near the barn here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I have to start thinking about detail work. So I don't wanna just get too free around this edge. So I need to take the brush, make sure it's loaded and thin on the edge there. So I do that by applying some firm pressure to the end of the brush. And then I go ahead and touch right next to it. Basically the hold on this is a lot like holding a pencil. So again, hold it just like you'd hold a pencil. That line edge of the brush faces down. Um, one other thing here too is if you're running into a little bit of some transparency on your canvas, uh, you can add just a tiny amount of water to that and that will help that paint really flow into the texture of the canvas. Now as I also push up near that line edge, I can just get right near the edge and then I'll just very gently pull away. And we'll continue this all over our beautiful sky in here. And hello to everybody out there joining us today. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for being here with us. I hope you all have a beautiful day, very peaceful day. Sending lots of warm and wonderful healing messages to everybody out there. All right, so let's speak at it around this little tiny bird here. I'm going to work in as close as I can with Mama, but as we get around the bird, I will have to switch over to a smaller brush. That is about as far as we can go. Let's go ahead and rinse out. As we rinse out our brush here, we wanna go ahead, spin it round and round and round. Go ahead and apply a little bit of some firm pressure. That will help release the paint from the brush. Let's lift out and check a little bit here. It's looking really great. We're gonna go ahead and drag that on the edge of the bucket. Let's go ahead and dry up a little bit here too. All right, now I need a smaller brush, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up our little bit brush. You can add a tiny amount of water to that. And to keep our point thin, we can go ahead and do a little twist into that paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and just twist the edge of the brush into the paint with a little bit of firm pressure that will load it up but it also twists the end of the brush into a nice fine point that gives you a lot more precision as you're working into a smaller space
So I'm going to come around the edge of the sweet little bird and then as I work my way out, I'll do a little bit of that cross stroke. So again, looks like little tiny X's, just back and forth. We're going to simulate that same stroke we were doing earlier with a larger brush. We want that consistency and the flow of the pattern. So we are done with that. And same thing on this end, nice circular motions, a little bit of firm pressure, and then lift out, nice little drag across the edge of the bucket to help release that excess water. And then just let it dry here on your paper towel. All right, next up we will come to our beautiful uh, spring green grass. So we've got some cadmium green. We're going to do just a small dime sized dollop of that. And then I also have some beautiful bright yellow green. Another dime sized dollop of that as well. And I still have a small portion of the viridian nearby. I might touch into that a little bit too when I want some darker shades in here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick up our little buddy brush here. This is our quarter inch flat tacklon brush. Let's go ahead and push into that bright yellow green, a little touch of the cadmium green. And we're going to do that crisscross stroke again here. And a little touch of white too. Let's go ahead and push that in back and forth. What nice full coverage on this. Uh, again, if you run into some transparency, a little touch of water is very helpful. That'll help that paint flow into the space. Also, adding a little touch of white to it will also help give it a little bit more of that opaque finish over the top. It does change it slightly with the coloring, but that's okay. Little highlights are nice in there. Now I'm going to do a little touch of the viridian. So I just barely touch into that viridian. You can see that's quite a bit darker, but I have some shadows that are happening in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just lightly touch into the surface area and just do a soft blend in here by just crisscrossing back and forth. And that brush again holds out to the side parallel to the canvas. And it's like making little tiny X's just back and forth. And here I'm just kind of lightly pushing it a little bit. Have a push and drag. with this beautiful green grass all the way across. We will want to be careful once we start to get in around our little sunflowers, but as we go through here, we can just, even those little lines, they're going to peek through just a little bit. So we can kind of touch back into those. Those are like little fence posts that come up in the front. And I'm still pushing into a bright yellow green, cadmium green, and then also a little touch of white. And then over here on the side, it got a little bit darker. That was a little tiny touch of viridian. Beautiful texture. Want little touches of some darker shadows coming in there. So I just barely touch into that viridian and just kind of crisscross that back and forth in there. All 
I want to be careful around the sunflower. So we've got some little tiny lines we need to do. So I shift a little bit. So instead of holding the brush more over to the side, shift over to holding it more like a pencil and you get that nice thin line edge. That gives you a lot more precision to go ahead and do your cut in work that comes around the petals. That helps quite a bit. And then there's gonna be some of this that I will definitely have to work in with my little bit brush. So I'm going to touch into that bright yellow green, cadmium green, a little maybe touch of viridian too. So I'll do this little tiny work in here. A little bit that will cut in with some brushwork that we want to help feather out a little bit with Little Buddy. So I will follow up with Little Buddy and do a light, gentle glide over the top to help feather out some of that texture. For some feathering that work basically it's just a soft blend to help this belong back to the earth so I'll just go ahead and kind of work right back into that light gentle hand as much as I can back into that little tiny space and just do a slight little back and forth to keep the consistency of that texture going that we've established So that looks really beautiful. There's all of our beautiful green grass. I'm going to go ahead and rinse out our brush. Dry that off. Alright, let's go ahead and work back in with our mama brush. We're going to be working in some grays and then also some browns. Uh, so let's make some brown. All right, we're gonna go ahead and need to use our cadmium orange. Just do a nice heaping dime size amount of that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to using Little Buddy. I'm going to grab a little bit of our black here and work that into our orange. When you add black into orange, it makes brown. So I have that over to the side, which is awesome. Alright, let's do a little drag here off on the edge. We can look into that later. And then let's work in some gray too. So I've got a nice heaping dollop of the white. Let's do a little touch of the black. Let's make some gray. Alright, so we have some lovely gray and then we have our brown. You can make some darker brown too. Let's do a little bit of that over here. So you can add a little bit more black and that takes it to more of like a deeper, darker chocolate brown. All right, wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and use that darkest brown with a lot more black mixed into it on our edge work here. So we're gonna go ahead and take Little Buddy and we're gonna hold it just like we'd hold a pencil go ahead and get that line work done. Again, this is a dark chocolate brown. It is used by mixing cadmium orange and Mars black. And I'm using my little buddy brush, which is just a basically a half inch flat tacklon brush. We have everything that you need on our website, tipsyartist.com.
you'll see this picture on the front of the kit and then everything that you need comes to you in the mail and then you just follow this class and paint along with me. And thank you again to everybody who's out there painting with me today or just hanging out with me. We're so glad you're here. Alright, check your brush. It's, mine's getting a little full with paint, so it makes my brush line quite a bit thicker. So you can add some firm pressure to this basically just pushing back and forth with more firm pressure and it thins it out quite a bit and it gives you a thinner line to work with. This line becomes a lot more thin on this side so I wanted to be sure that we had kind of pressed out some of that paint a little bit. Continue down this side with that shadow. We'll just have that dark shadow inside of the building. Basically just go all the way down on that one side so it runs off the canvas and then it will meet this green grass here. that dark brown all the way across here. Right, I'm rinsing out my brush round and round and round. Let's go ahead and release that. Right, so here is Mama. And we're gonna take some white and some of that gray, some of that brown. And we're just gonna start to pull down a little bit here. So some white, some gray, some of that brown. We're just basically Simulating the wood grain of the barn here in front. Now I need to connect up here, so I'm going to reach the top. just a little bit of that pure black too. Just kind of pull it straight down. expert. It was part of his career when he was here on earth with us. And um, 
he figured out that there's potassium in Dasani that gives it that really nice taste. And no, they're not sponsoring this video, but boy, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> Go ahead and pull up from this line here using the width of the brush. Flat side, just pull straight up. Grabbing some white, some gray, a little bit of that brown. Also grabbed a little bit more black that time. pull down from the top. A little bit more black in the mix. Then I had some nice striations here. Adding just little tiny amounts of white. Okay. All right, we're going to reinforce that black all the way across. And then we're going to start again here with the face. Basically, just doing the same thing. And if we do happen to have a little bit of overlap over the green grass, we can just tap that green right back in over the front so that it's remaining in the foreground. Now, I inadvertently picked up a little bit of Viridian in that, but you know what? I kind of like it. So I always say there are no mistakes, only possibilities. So let's just go with that. It's kind of a nice little touch in there. You go over the line like I did then, no problem. Just work back in that black line right there. Way to go.
I have a little peekaboo canvas here, dry brush almost. You can add a little bit of water to that too. I'm going to create a nice little flow into that surface area so that we eliminate all those white spots. My sweet puppy dog Ira just came in. Alright. Pressed out some of that color. We're going to pull in a little bit more of our white now. Let's do that same thing from the base. Alright, it's looking really pretty. Just going to inside a little bit. Taking little buddy now, we're going to to this little fence post right over here. This is that brown, it has little touches of gray all mixed in with it now. Let's add a little tiny touch of white. Barely touch down the white just on this one side. Highlight there. Rinse out, arm pressure, dry off. Let's go to our black now. This is our little buddy brush. And we're going to go ahead and paint into the door and the window. Let me emphasize that roof line, touches of black. And then we had our little fence posts that were here. Let's 
still seeing little hints of those. Using my little buddy just to work into that. Now we need to do the light of the sunflowers. All right, so we need some primary yellow, little dime-sized dollop of that, and we'll also use some cadmium yellow. Again, little dime-sized dollop of that. We'll also use a little bit of our white nearby. I'm going to mix that primary yellow, cadmium yellow together, equal parts. And we're just going to push into each one of these little petal shapes. We'll have a little bit of overlap into the center, that's okay, because we're going to come in with a much darker shade over the top. It will easily cover that. All right, we have that beautiful yellow down. I go ahead and rinse out, dry off. Now let's do touches of white. And then we'll just kind of pull out from the center and into those petals. So right over the top, this just creates a nice little highlight. So it's just a little soft curve of white. Again, start in the center, just kind of pull out into each petal. Nice little accent there. I'm also going to do the same thing with our cadmium yellow now. That's the darkest shade. Pull out from the center here as well. Start there. Just adding some really nice texture here over the top. Also try to follow the curve of the petal. So as I pull out kind of have a soft little curve to it. Right, let's 
inside. Let's go ahead and switch to our black now. A little bit brush, same brush. We're going to go ahead and go into the center. Do a little bit of texture on this too if you want. So we can have a little bit of that orange or that brown. And then let's just do a little tap, tap, tap. start to work on this beautiful little bird up here. We just need a tiny amount, so no bigger than about a pea size there. A little bit, just a touch of water. Cadmium red. Let's go ahead and do a little spin into that paint. Spin it out to a nice fine point. work into this really tiny little area up here at the top. Alright, so we've got red to there. And the little beak is that cadmium yellow, so we're going to take our tiny part of our little bit brush Super tiny there. And we're just gonna make a tiny, tiny little triangle right there. That's our little beak. Then we have our little eye. So we're gonna take the end of the brush, just barely touch into that black. You can also do this with the brush too, then I'm just gonna barely touch. See how it's right there on the end, this little dot? And I don't apply any firm pressure on this, but I just barely touch. There's my little eye. All right, now we want to go back to our primary cyan blue. We still have a little bit of that nearby. So I'm going to go ahead and push into that and just a tiny amount of white. Not much. We want the color to be about the same. And let's go ahead and push into this little top part here. Grab a little bit of water just to help us really help that paint flow into that space. And thank you all so much for being here with me today. I can't see the chat on YouTube, so I apologize if hearing from me I'll go back and answer any comments please leave a comment afterwards in the comment section it's hard for me to see chat so thank you all so much for being here and I'm sending out lots of lovely prayers for y'all to have a beautiful Day and a year, a prosperous year, a year filled with healing and prosperity, healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's what we want. All right, now I'm going to go into some light gray. So a little bit of white here. That's got a little bit more brown than I want, so I want a little bit more black, a little bit more white. It's a really pretty gray. Spin that out. Nice fine point. Let's go ahead and work into the base of the bird. 
Now let's touch into just some pure white. And we're gonna pull that white right into it. And I'm using little feathering strokes here too. Kind of taking a little bit of that blue with that gray, doing a little bit of some feathering strokes right through that midsection. Just a nice little delicate transition, a texture that looks more like feathers in there. Okay, let's see. So theoretically, we could be done. I'm going to add a little bit more texture, though, to the grass that comes in around everything. Kind of just more of a taste thing. I'm wanting a little bit more texture. Some people might be fine with it just as it is, but I'm going to add a little bit more texture. So I've got a little bit of this brown, a little bit of that cadmium. I'm going to do a little bit of some texture by just taking my little bit brush and just doing a little bit of a pounce here. Some nice texture there, pulling in some of that bright yellow green. And I just kind of I call this a pounce effect, just pounce, pounce, pounce. Add some really nice texture. This is also a nice time where if you have some older brushes, you can start to use those as well. Come right back over the top here. And I'm also going to switch over to my little buddy brush. So here's little buddy. And let's load up with a little bit more of these colors. So I'm going to add a little bit more, like another dime sized dollop of the bright yellow green. And they still have a lot of white and black and cadmium left over. I'm going to go ahead and pounce this out over the surface here. You can see that really pretty texture coming in. I also just did a little tiny touch of Viridian. that texture all over the surface. Lots of bright yellow green in here. And then I'll add in little touches of that gray in there. I randomly push that into the work.
few more little accents with our sunflower. I'm going to add a little bit of cadmium orange. back in a little bit more of that primary yellow. are done. All that remains now is our signature. So we use our little bit brush for that. And you can do this when it's completely dry with a permanent marker or you can use your little bit brush. I make sure and do a little twirl with the end of the brush that will bring it to a nice fine point. A little bit of water helps too. All right, so we are done. Looks beautiful. Um, everything you need for this beautiful barn to create for yourself is on our website, tipsyartist.com. And we just want to thank you again so very much for joining us today. We had a very peaceful and lovely time with y'all. But yeah, so we are done. So yes, um, so it's been great. And we will see you again very, very soon. And we are doing classes at our studio again too. So please check our website, tipsyartist.com. And then for those of you who are not yet comfortable with getting out or can't for some reason, we still keep lots of painting kits. We have hundreds of designs and lots of opportunities to paint with you all the time during the week. So y'all have a beautiful day and we will see you soon.